got a new build video for y'all this one i had to do since it's a highly talked about car need for speed because it's like usually always op and it's kind of seeming like it's the same way this game but it's i've used like 10 other supercars against this car and it's hands down beating them i don't know what it is about this car it's just the way it handles and how it doesn't lose as much speed on turns it's just a beast but pretty much i'm just going to show y'all what i run on this thing and Hopefully this car gets a slight nerf, but not too much. I don't know, but I'm kind of tired of this car, even though I love it, but I'll show you what I'm running with it. So yeah, for this one, I don't know what's the best engine. I picked whichever one I thought was the best because I tried two different engines and this one was the best one I could do. But pretty much for the all the parts, they're all going to be ultimate. Pretty much every build from now I'm going to do is probably mostly going to have ultimate parts. And turbo, I think the only thing different is the turbo is a, the dual turbo. I use that and the tires, I didn't use drag tires on this one. I used normal track, like elite track tires. But yeah, I use, yeah, dual turbo charger. That it was the only one that did well with that engine. The other ones always decreased my uh, 060, which I pay attention to a lot. Cause it's like zero to 60 also affects like how fast it goes in the long run, like to, to its top, top speed. And this thing accelerates freaking crazy it accelerates insane on turns everything but right here i just used the elite track yeah i tried the drag tires it's not really worth it because you kind of lose the the turning capabilities that the car has even though it's a it's a missile with them drag tires and i didn't i didn't feel like using them but everything else you know track diff all that i used it on the um the golf as well and those i didn't care about it but Pretty much I'm just gonna show how the engine sound like. Yep. So right here, the 3.6 liter flat six, that's what I chose to use. I didn't max it out to its highest horsepower, uh, mainly because some of the turbos, it could get to that, but it hurted my acceleration. So I didn't tend to mess with it. But I think some other people use like a, a bigger engine like the last one which is I think it's better like on a top top run but I feel like this is just better for turning like accelerations but here this is what I use on the tuning it's kind of different in most people I put it two notches below on the steering sensitivity and then one notch um, down from the highest downforce no trash control and the gas brake style it's as simple as that but I don't know. I, I feel like it's a little a little turny, like sensitive, even without like with it low like that. So it is what it is. But this one is going to be just another top speed run, and you're going to see how fast this thing moves. But for this car, I don't know what what's going to happen with this car. They it's not going to get passed. I already know. But I feel like there's going to be a lot of cars that's going to be similar to this one. It's not just going to be this car. Since there's a lot of cars that can get the same engine as this one and if you I, i'll probably find a car that can handle like this car and it'll be like its brother or something like there's got to be another car out of all them 120 some cars that can turn and handle like this car and get to its top speed like this so i don't know it's i don't i don't want to say it's the best of the best but it still is op like with the type of car that the rsr is it's it's still broken but after this top speed i'm just going to show a little race i did and that'll be it so if you like this video give a like subscribe and that'll be it